that case was not about the Mau Mau as an organization. That case was about the Mau Mau persons who were beaten, who were mistreated. Therefore, the case subject was torture and ill treatment. We took this into the court of law with a list of people who had joined the organization called the Mau Mau War Veterans Association. Okay. Without joining that association, your name cannot appear anywhere in the case in England. Okay. Now, when the case was decided in England, only the people who were in the register who were paid the compensation. That compensation is paid. That compensation did not come to the organization. The judge in England said, we did not beat an organization. What we beat is personalities. Ah. Therefore, these are the people that we have to pay. So, what were Therefore, the people in Ghana? If you, if, you were a Mau, if you were a Mau Mau adherent or an officer, you did not register with the Mau Mau War Veterans Association, then your name cannot appear anywhere about that case. Okay. How okay. were they paid? Okay. When they paid the Mau Mau people 2.6 billion. Yes. And how did they do it? They came here, they came a commission here consisting of the British lawyers and our people. And they interviewed all the people who were on the register. Okay. They had to give evidence that they because were the judge in the court said, we have agreed to pay money, but we will pay people who will prove that they were beaten or they were mistreated. Or Therefore, they, they came here. I took them to every district and uh, county where we have the members who were in that list. They interviewed them, and the judgment was that person has won, that person has failed. The reason being, what evidence did you give? Is it evidence that can sustain a case in a court law of law? Yes, that person has to be paid. If you give evidence that cannot sustain a case in a court of law, then you failed. Those who passed okay. were asked to give their IDs. They were also asked to give their bank accounts. Those who did not get a bank account, they were required to open. These details were taken by the commission to England and their money was paid from England, wired into his bank account in Kenya. I do not know how these people received their money. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my question is, um, what about the people who passed on? During the case or before yeah, the case? During the case. During the case. Yes. OK, there is a law even in Kenya, a succession law. I'm talking succession. about the evidence, the evidence. How did they have to prove now that they are now, dead? If how? somebody died before he gave evidence, that is... There was no compensation. No compensation. No that, compensation. And that brings me to the question of this criteria of payment, uh, as in of remuneration after the payout by the British government. Mm. Was this the same criteria uh, used after independence? There the are Mau Mau fighters who got land 
but there are those who have never been compensated to date. Mm -hmm. Was this the same criteria? What did they? What did you have to prove as a Mau Mau fighter to get compensation? No, that that, uh, that is a different thing altogether, Doctor. Yes. Because people who got compensation or anything out of independent government, it was uh, their right. It's no question of saying who is to get, who is not to get. All the people ought to get land or compensation because they were in the war against the British government. Now, this case is a case of going into case in a court of law to prove that you were beaten. Therefore, you cannot compare what uh, was done by the British government and what was done by the uh, Kenyan government when they gave some people land. And remember, it's only the land uh, that a few people got, not all the people who were involved okay. in fighting in the liberation struggle. Okay. Yeah. And uh, the, the British, for the British to surrender and go back home, th they had to have seen fire. They saw fire. <laughs> right? Yeah. So now that they saw fire, if the British government uh, decided to sue the Mau Mau Veterans Association for the Wazungus that Mulinyanganya Bunduki Narungu, mm. for the pain that they went through, how mm. does that go? It was, uh, that, uh, this is a, a matter of, um, uh, uh, war. Yes. War is war. You will not choose where to hit an enemy. Yes. <laughs> you will hit an enemy anywhere you will be able to do. Now, snatching a gun is not a serious thing. <laughs> <laughs> Therefore, I cannot foresee uh, any uh, European officer who will come and say, you snatched my gun. Because when did I snatch that gun? I snatched that gun when he was pointing at me with the gun. Someone points at you with a gun. Yes. <laughs> na wewe uko na rungu, yeah. na utachukua yo bunduki. Yes. Yes. What kind of training did you have? Uh, the training was the snatching guns training. <laughs> snatching guns. <laughs> yes. Then. Yes. Because, uh, let me tell you, when we went to war, yes. we went to war the whole hog. The whole? We sacrificed everything. We sacrificed our properties. We sacrificed our physical strength. We sacrificed our intelligence. And to the extremity, we sacrificed our lives. Therefore, when I am going to snatch a gun from a European soldier, there is nothing I have left behind. I snatch it, or I die. I'll update your gangster points mm. right now. <laughs> <laughs> you are currently uh, cruising at one or two percent. Mm. But, but, but then, uh, having how how do you compare? It, independence meant a lot of things. It meant. Um, a win. It meant a new dawn, right? Mm -hmm. But it came with a lot of um, a lot of um, negativity mm -hmm. to it too, because mm -hmm. we now talk of corruption. I believe yeah. this is mm -hmm. not the country mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. fought for. Mm -hmm. Many people would argue that. Mm -hmm. So, my particular question would be: Before independence, did you deal with issues like tribalism? No, that was not there. Where did that even come Count from? People of Okamban liked the people of Kikuyuna. They were bringing their ngombes, their, and we give them uh, food to go and feed their people. Therefore, there was a complete, convenient 
uh, organization between the people, between one tribe and the other. Because what they have, you go and get. What you have, you take it to them. Yes. Therefore, we did not experience what we are experiencing today.